Good morning children. Welcome back. In today's session we will discuss class 5 term 2 second unit in social science hydrosphere part 3. A warm welcome to you to my class. Before going into the lesson hydrosphere let us have a recap of what we learned in the previous two sessions. Children a hydrosphere is a total amount of water present on the earth which includes water on the surface, under the ground and in the air. Hydrosphere is in the form of liquid, vapor and solid. The hydrosphere covers about 71% of the planet earth. 97% of water is salt water and the rest 3% is fresh water found in the grounds, lakes, rivers and also frozen as ice in the form of glaciers and icebergs. We also learned about the importance of hydrosphere. We need water to carry out many activities in our day-to-day -day life. We need water to drink, take bath, cook. Not only human, even animals and plants also need water for their survival. We also learned that about the different types of water bodies like river, lake, pond, stream, sea, ocean, gulf, bay, lagoon, strait and waterfall. Children, in this session we will discuss about the water cycle. Sundar is saying to Rani, Sundar, we should be very careful about how we use the water. We have the choice to conserve water resources or pollute them further. So he is saying that we have to be very very careful about how we are using the water which is available. We have two choices which are they? We can either conserve the water or we can pollute them. Water pollution that is polluting the water is a common phenomena around us. What is the meaning of phenomena? P H E N O M E N O N phenomenon. It is a fact or a situation that happens. Water pollution is a common phenomena around us. The garbage that is a waste that we throw in water bodies make them impure and not fit for use whatever waste we are throwing into the water it becomes impure the water becomes impure and it is not fit for using this increases the scarcity of water for household use you can see once the water becomes dirty it becomes impure we cannot use it for any of the household purposes like cleaning or washing bathing and that will increase the scarcity scarcity s c a r c i t y scarcity is a shortage of water for household use you can see how the clean a river is we feel like having a bath and other side you can see a polluted river which we were throwing the garbage and the chemical waste all those things are dumped into the river and it makes it very polluted children rani and sundar are discussing something important let us listen what they are talking rani is saying to sundar oh what a scarcity Sundar replies, Yes, we face it too, Rani. The whole of Tamil Nadu faces a huge water crisis. You are right. We should overcome this problem with steps to use water thoughtfully. So they are discussing the problem of water scarcity. There is a shortage of water everywhere in Tamil Nadu. And they are saying, yes, there is water problem, water scarcity is there. And we must be very, very thoughtful. We must think before we use the water, before we waste the water. Children, how can you save water? You are so small and you use very little water. Then how can you people save the water? You can easily do these things. 
First one is take water in a bucket for bathing instead of shower. Instead of opening the shower and standing underneath it for long hours, you can take water in a bucket for bathing and bathe from that. After washing vessels, check if the taps are properly closed. You have to just check whether the taps are closed. Not only that, you can use a cup of water instead of using the wash basin to brush your teeth. Children, you can turn off the tap while brushing your teeth, take a shower or shorter bath, turn off the tap while applying soap and shampoo, turn off the tap after each use and please do not flush tissue paper or waste into the toilet. Again, we can find Sundar and Rani discussing something. Let us listen to their conversation. Sundar is saying to Rani, Sundar, Rani, do you know water continuously moves on below and above the surface of earth? And Rani is replying, Really? How? Sundar is saying to her, There is a water cycle. There is a water cycle that occurs continuously. That is, there is a water cycle that is moving continuously in a cyclic manner. Water changes its state from solid to liquid, liquid to gas. Again, gas to liquid in this cycle. You can say water cycle, water will change its form continuously. It will change its state from solid to liquid, liquid to gas and again gas to liquid in this cycle. The solid form of water is ice, liquid is water and the gaseous form or the gas form of water is a water vapor. The picture shows you the water cycle. The different stages are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff and infiltration. You can easily identify what is the meaning of evaporation. You can see water from the water bodies is converted into steam and it is rising up and it is forming the clouds and then from clouds you have the precipitation and you have the runoff water is flowing out as well as the infiltration infiltration is the groundwater is absorbed into the inter interior layers of the earth don't worry we are going to learn about each of these stage in detail now come children let us learn about the water cycle now we will learn about the water cycle stages water cycle stages the first stage is the evaporation evaporation e v a p o r a t i o n evaporation you can see the picture what is happening there from the ocean or the water bodies the water is becoming air and moving up that is the heat energy of the sun falls on the water bodies like oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, etc. The heat energy is falling on the water bodies. The water slowly evaporates as vapor into the air. You can see water rising as water vapor. That is the first stage of the water cycle. The stage 2 of the water cycle is a condensation stage. Condensation C-O-N-D-E-N-S-A-T-I-O-N -E Condensation As the water vapor rises high, the cooler temperature makes them cool down and turn back into liquid. You know, children, in the first stage, water from the water bodies, when it gets heated by the sun's rays, it rises up. Okay? And as it rises high, what happens? The temperature is cool there. And it makes them to cool down. And again, it is turning back into liquid. This is called as condensation. What is condensation? As the vapors rise high, the cooler temperature makes them to cool down and turn back into the liquid. And that is called as a condensation. 
wind moves the liquid around leading to the formation of clouds and as a wind moves the clouds are formed the condensed water vapor that is liquid form of water they join together and they form the clouds now we move on to the third stage that is the precipitation precipitation p r e c i p i t a t i o n precipitation p r e c i p i t a t i o n precipitation what happens when the wind movements cause the cloud particles to collide as the wind moves these cloud particles will collide they become rain bearing clouds and fall back onto the earth's surface by the process known as precipitation the smaller smaller clouds join together and they become rain bearing clouds the clouds which will bring the rain and they fall back onto the earth's surface and that process is called as precipitation this may occur this precipitation could be in the form of rain hail snow or dew depending on the temperature condition so depending on the temperature the it could be this precipitation could be in the form of rain it could be in the, as a rainfall or as a hailstone or as snow or even dew the stage 4 is runoff and infiltration runoff r u n o f f runoff infiltration i n f i l t r a t i o n infiltration four stages runoff and infiltration water either runs off into oceans rivers and ground surface or is absorbed into the soil so the absorption into the soil is called as infiltration and the water flowing away into the oceans or rivers is called as a runoffs you can see the runoff and infiltration into the soil in the picture this cycle continues it is not a one way process it is a cyclic process and it continues the evaporation condensation precipitation and the runoff and infiltration it goes on in a cyclic manner that is why it is called as a water cycle now we will learn about the water cycle the sun's rays heats up the water from ocean lakes and rivers and the water changes into water vapor by the process of evaporation that is water from the various water bodies get evaporated because of sun's heat not only the water bodies but the plants also lose water in the form of water vapor from their leaves into the air and the process is called as transpiration as the water vapor rises up to the air it starts cooling down to form water droplets these water droplets come together by wind and they form a cloud that is they condenses to form cloud the water keeps condensing to form cloud but when too much water gets accumulated the cloud becomes heavy when the clouds start getting heavy and cannot hold water droplets anymore they fall back to the earth in the form of rain hail or snow or dew this process is called as precipitation some of the water that falls on the ground seeps into the ground this water is available to us in the form of ground water which we take from the wells or tube wells the remaining water falls back into oceans lakes rivers and seas this process is called as the collection the sun starts heating up this water once again and the process continues children children world water day is celebrated to focus your attention on the importance of water it is celebrated on march 22nd every year 
the theme for 2020 was water and climate change and it explores how the water and the climate change are linked to one another and the theme expected theme for 2021 is valuing water we will learn the glossary now collide c o l l i d e collide is to crash collide is to crash c r a s h crash phenomenon p h e n o m e n o n phenomenon is remarkable situation phenomenon is a remarkable situation scarcity s c a r c i t y scarcity is a shortage scarcity is shortage let us go through the recap that is given in your book recap earth is made up of land water and air water is necessary for all life forms not only human beings plants animals all need water for survival 3% of water is fresh water found in ground, lakes, ponds, streams and rivers. There are 5 major oceans in the world. The Pacific, the Atlantic, Indian, Southern and Arctic Ocean. Waterfall forms when river falls from great height. We should use water very carefully. Before finding out the lesson, let us have a recap of what we learned in this session. We learned about water pollution. Water pollution is the garbage that we throw in water bodies which make them impure and not fit for use. Which will increase the scarcity of water for household use. We also learned about the importance of water and the problem of water scarcity. And the methods to save water even as a child. Water cycle in, is the water from the various water bodies on the earth gets evaporated because of sun's heat. The water in the form of vapor then cools down at a certain height and condenses to form clouds. The water keeps condensing to form clouds but when it is having too much water gets accumulated the clouds become heavy and then the water falls from the sky in the form of rain, snow, hail or dew. The water then collected in the ocean, lakes, ponds and this water again gets evaporated initiating the whole cycle over and over again. Children, in the next session we will discuss the evaluation that is the book bag exercises. Let us see the worksheet 3 now. Roman number 1, choose the correct answer. Evaporation is the dash stage of the water cycle. Options are first, second, third and fourth. Evaporation is the dash stage of water cycle. First, second, third or fourth. Roman number 2, write true or false. We should keep the tap open throughout while washing utensils. We should keep the tap open throughout while washing the utensils. Question number two. We should save water. We should save water. Roman number three. Answer the following. Question number one. What are the different stages of water cycle? What are the different stages of water cycle? Give few steps to save water. Give few steps to save water. As you do in your worksheet, copy this down in your rough note, learn it well and write it as home test and WhatsApp me the answers. Thank you for watching the class my dear children. Take care, stay blessed.